So Nigel, here we are on Canal Street. Where can I ask you, when was the first time you ever came to this legendary street? Well, it wasn't Canal Street then. Well, it was Canal Street, but it wasn't the gay Canal Street. There was a few bars back then. I think Churchill's was here, and then there was a dodgy, where my bar was, queer, that was a dodgy semi-pornographic magazine shop. This, right here, so Jack, if you swing round here, um, this was Nigel's place, this was queer. And when I was in Manchester, I mean, this was the place to go for the after party, for the pre-party, for the party, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, Morning I mean... Glory, we used to do Morning Glory here, which started off at three o'clock in the morning on a Saturday and ended up at 10 o'clock on a Sunday. The people would be coming out of Morning Glory and everyone would be going to church. Yes. Looking yeah. at them like, what are they? Where have they been? But yeah, um, Canal Street just grew over the years. It's just, I mean, look at it now flags up jubilee and isn't it great that after what we've been through with the pandemic everywhere's yeah. open it's, yeah. it's probably looking more like together and vibrant than when i was here 20 years ago yeah I mean, it's still you know, i mean like it's this. still happening isn't it? it's quieter now because it's like three o'clock on a monday afternoon <laughs> yeah so it's not exactly full but i mean over the bank bank holiday weekend it was mob yeah it was like pride it was absolutely fabulous and everyone was having a party, everyone was celebrating, the Queen, the real one, not me. <laughs> and it was great. And if we don't stop talking now, he's going to end up with a bollard up his ass. <laughs> <laughs> As we approach this corner, uh, big memories on certain nights. You know, I used to work in your massive club of Central, just round yes, here. Yes. But literally, I mean, at this point here, the queue, some nights, would, uh, oh God, yeah. would begin. Both ends, wouldn't yeah. they? Um, and I'd be, you'd, you'd, people would go down to queer for the start of it yeah and then everyone would be you'd see a load of people coming around here and this building we're coming up to was was the club it was essential just just past here yeah um literally on a saturday night you would have how many people coming into the club 1400 1500 which is incredible now. massive you wouldn't yeah. have anything like that now, no would you? no and it was just a big party you know we'd have all the drag queens there, there'd be muscle boys giving out sweets. Yeah. And just when you just you used to just come around this corner and the <laughs> energy there. would hit you yeah, and you'd absolutely. know that it was Saturday night. Yeah, there was lights, one they would yeah, have lights. You'd have lights, you'd have massive banners yeah. up, uh, up up against this building on the corner of Bloom Street. It's not yeah. like that anymore. Well it's we not. sound like a right old couple, <laughs> don't we? Oh, it's not like that anymore. But it's not, is it? What's happened? That's why we're doing Essential again at the Albert Hall. Yes. And it's massive and it's a party and it's an event people can look forward to. When we, as we look at this building now, and it's derelict, but there's some bits that are still essential, like the signage there. What, what do you think? I mean, this, is the, this was the front door I know. to the legendary I'm, place. I'm seeing, I, it. I think I've left my handbag in there. <laughs> no, I mean, oh, it's a shame, isn't it? Apparently, I had to, we had to seal it up. We ended up with... Um, what them people call that crime in through your window? Squatters. They're the ones. Right. Yeah. Ended up with a load of squatters in there having a party. And uh, yeah, so we had to put that up. So but, it's just empty now, well, is it? Well, yeah, it's been sold, but I don't know what's going to happen to it. But you know, it's the same in London. So many of the big venues, so many of the big clubs, they've gone. Yeah. And it's sad. Do you think there'll ever be a time where Canal Street will have to close, that there won't be many gay bars anymore because people no, are just not going out? I think people always it... want to go out and party. It's how it's done. I mean, we've shown that. When, when we opened Essential at Albert Hall in Manchester, which holds about 2,500 people, they said, you're never going to get that many people out there. We sold out in two days. You know, so people do still want to party if it's done right. And people don't mind paying a bit extra to get in if they're going to get entertained. You know, when you go to Essential, it's an event. It always was. You'd be you guys. It was the best DJs, the best dancers, the prettiest boys, you know, dancing in the audience and on the stage. And me on the door, what more could you I ask? know, and you well, always on the door. Go. If I could, if I could ask Coke. you... <laughs> God, I want you to choose one word that summed up this whole era. Fabulous. Fabulous. Really was. How very gay.